Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create login page in Wix website. The first thing you're going to need is obviously a Wix website. You can create an account on Wix for free and then you can create your website. I've already created several websites, but I'm just going to create a new site just so that I can show you how to create a new site on Wix website. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and click on create a new site. And the first thing that Wix is going to offer to you is whether you want to use their AI tools to create your website or not. You can feel free to choose whether you want it or not. I'm just going to click on not for now. And then they're going to ask you on the type of website that you're going to create. They have several options that you can choose whether you want to create an online store portfolio, blog, consultant, technology company, etc. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on consultant. And you can see that after you click on some categories, they're going to give you some more details category that you can choose. But I'm just going to go ahead and choose lifestyle categories for now. And then I'm going to wait until Wix finish loading. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to write about our business. You can go ahead and insert the business names, the address, etc. But I'm just going to skip it for now because this part is totally customizable. I can just edit it when I am editing my website later. Next, you're going to want to set up your default working hours because I choose a lifestyle coaching for my website. I am now have to insert the working hours so you can set up your days as well as your hours just so that people will know if they want to book any consultation or if they want to use any of your service. And after you do that, you can go ahead and click on next. And then over here, you can also start adding any services that you would want to input inside of your website. You can choose more than one you can choose any of them that you are going to offer to your customers or you can just skip it if you don't want to do it yet and then you can also add some staff members but i'm just going to go ahead and skip it for now and then you're going to add your payment but again i'm just going to skip it and then after that you can finally start and build your website you can start from scratch or if you're like me, I prefer to start from templates just to make it easier. And because we've already inserted some details before, Wix are going to give us the templates that are most suitable to the theme of our website. And I choose the consultations website. So they're going to give me a website that are suitable for a lifestyle consultant. And you can totally take a look around on which website templates you think is the most interesting for you. You can take a look at the templates first by simply clicking on view. And if you feel like that is the website for you, you can just go ahead and click on edit site. Once you've chosen a template, Wix are going to ask you whether you want the help of AI tools to insert some wordings for your website. I'm just going to skip it for now. And then to insert your login page, what you're going to do is that you're going to go to this add apps setting on the left side of your screen. And in that sections of the menu, you're going to see that there are several apps that you can install to Wix website. For example, there is map and store location, Wix online program, Wix store, Wix group, event calendar, etc. And the app that we're going to use for our sign up page is Wix member area. So you can just go ahead and type out Wix member area on the search bar on the left side of your screen. And once you found it, you can click on it. And then the website that I've created already have Wix website area, but I'm just going to go ahead and click add again for security reason. Some website, if you choose, let's say, some services website will have these specific application built in to that. But I always click at again just for a security reason in case it's not available on my website already. And if you want to see the settings for the sign up or login page, you can just go ahead and click on the site pages and menu 
on the left side of his screen and the symbol looks like a document symbol and then a sign up and login options are going to appear next to customize it you can just go ahead and click on the gear symbol on the right side of the member sign up text and you can see that over here you can create your form we can use the default form or you can also create a custom form and this is how the custom form is going to look like so you can adjust how the form looks like as well as the wording on the form if you are choosing to use the custom forms one but i'm just going to go back and use the default ones instead You can also choose which options that are going to show first, whether it's the new member group or the existing group. And if you would like to take your setting even more further, you can go ahead and click on the additional sign up and login setting at the very bottom of the member sign up form menu. Here you're going to see more settings options such as who can be a site member. You can choose if you want the site member to be everyone who signed up or only people you manually approve. You can also edit whether the one that are going to manually approve those member requests is going to be just you or maybe you would want to add another account which is probably your subordinate or something. And you can also ask whether you want your new member to confirm with their email or not and you can also setting whether you want to use the recapture for sign up and login you can simply setting everything by clicking on the blue slider on the left side of each wording and you can choose whether you want to add recapture to sign up as well as to login or not they recommend you to constantly use it every single time but just feel free to choose whatever you want and once you're done with the setting you can just go ahead and click on save you can also do the exact same thing with the login settings because the first thing that we settings was the sign up form as for the login settings you also have the options to use whether you want to use default form or the custom one and you can also choose whether you want to enable google and facebook login on your website or not Additional login setting is also available, but it's just going to look exactly the same with the additional settings for the sign up form. Once you're done with the settings, you can go ahead and click on a preview on the top right of your screen. And what it does is that it's going to give you a POV of how your website is going to look like for your customer. The sign up or login page might differ because it's going to follow or adjust itself to the theme of your own website. Mine is going to look like this, the page with a submit button on it. So that is actually how my sign up or login page is going to look like. If you scroll to the top, you also have the options to see your website in the form of mobile phone. So let's say that you want to see how your website is going to look like if people are opening it from their phone. Just feel free and click on the phone symbol besides the desktop symbol. And it's going to bring you to this point of view of how people are going to see your website from their phone. So that is how you can insert a sign up or a login page to your Wix website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.